Hello everybody, I am Janvi Pavar. Welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you people are new over here then welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video I'm gonna be handing out some tips and tricks on to how to get off your bed and how to start working. Now I think this video is really necessary is because in this video I'm just gonna talk about all of my experiences, you know, 18 years, all of those experiences. I haven't had a lot of experiences, as I said, I'm just 18, but still, I've dealt with a lot of things. Everything that I've learned until now, everything that I've read, and I've listened to people who share their experiences and how they, uh, they have dealt with certain issues and how they have dealt with certain, you know, problems and how they have dealt with procrastination, st procrastinating stuff. And then, you know, all of a sudden we people are like, okay, we're gonna stop procrastinating from tomorrow. And then tomorrow arrives, we're like, yeah, not anymore, that's not the plan. So basically, we just keep procrastinating over and over, even when in the back of our mind, we know that we are wasting time, but we still can stop. So yes, there, now, first of all, if you, are really looking out for tips on to how to be more motivated then uh, you know you can buy a lot of courses you can buy a lot of books you can read a lot you can listen to a lot of stuff they are not gonna help you if you're only looking the answer to the question how to be more motivated no the reason you're feeling whatever you're feeling so if you don't know about that particular reason or reasons then you're not gonna solve all of those problems believe me it's not just lack of motivation your lack of motivation comes from certain issues you know in our mind in our health basically whatever we are thinking in the back of our mind so all of those issues and what are those issues you know there are some common issues that all of us deal with well, some of us deal with, not all of us, because some people are just living extremely, extremely well. Now, these, all of these issues, they arrive from lack of clarity, lack of challenges, self-doubt, some mental health issues. And I know that this is not a word to throw around just like this on YouTube, but maybe it's depression. And, you know, when we can accept ourselves, you know, there is a lot of like, you just can't accept who you are. You can't accept what you're doing, the consequences of what you do after you have done something or the results or your identity, basically anything. So all of these things, all of these lack of things is why you're feeling demotivated, is why you're feeling like, okay, I don't want to work anymore. So first of all, let's talk about lack of clarity. Now, most of us, when we have a lack of clarity on our goals, for example, you have set a goal, but you're not really like sure of that. You're not really like, okay, this is what I really, really want to do. Like you're extremely passionate about it. You're not passionate about it. You have to set up a goal and you're like, okay, we're going to do this. Okay. We have plenty of time. If you are passionate about something, you're not gonna think about time because you like doing that thing. You're passionate about that. You're not gonna say, yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna find a time or, you know, we can do it tomorrow. We've got all of the time in the world. No, when you're passionate about something, when you're clear about something, when you're extremely sure about your goals, you're not gonna think about procrastinating ever. But the only reason you're doing that now is because you are still doubtful of your goals. You still think this may not be something for you. There may be something different for you. So please make sure that you are extremely sure of all of your goals, set up your goals, and then start working on them. And if you are really passionate about all of that, you're gonna be productive yourself. Second point, lack of challenge. What is lack of challenge? Lack of challenge is when you're not faced with any criticism, any constructive criticism, or in general, any challenges. For example, you know, like, yeah, I'm gonna do it, it's pretty easy. So you're just gonna waste your whole day because you know it's pretty damn easy. And so you're just gonna do it whenever you wanna do it because in the back of your mind, you know, yeah, I'll do it, it's pretty easy. You know, it's no biggie. So of course, you're gonna just waste your whole day, squander your time away. Why? Because you know. So give yourself a challenge like this if i have to do this it's not gonna be an easy task for me if i can do this in one hour 
then challenge yourself to do that in 30 minutes. Basically, if there is no one to challenge you, then you challenge yourself. All right, this is gonna take time because you're gonna think why to challenge ourselves, you know, when we know we can do this thing pretty easily. Or you can just think, yeah, all right, we'll do this. What is the big deal to challenge ourselves? So you're gonna have to force yourself. Of course, I'm not only gonna talk about, you know, everything comes natural, but at this point, you have to force, if there's no one else to challenge you, if your parents don't challenge you, your friends, your society, nobody challenges you, it's your turn to challenge yourself. So what you're going to do, you're going to go to your books, on your Google, YouTube, anywhere, and whatever your goals are, you set up a challenge for yourself is that I'm going to do this task in 30 days. That's me. That means I'm going to do this task in 30 days. So for that, you create a to-do list. What are you going to create? A to-do list. And in that list, you're going to mark like, okay, this thing done. Waking up at 5 a.m., done. Wake and then getting ready by 7 a.m., done. Exercising, done. Uh, researching anything, done. Writing, done. Reading, done. Listening, done. And business done basically whatever your goals are so start challenging yourself now let's talk about self-acceptance it's extremely extremely important and i think this is what most of us are dealing with self-acceptance now uh up until we're like uh, you know we're like 12 13 we're good you know we're extremely good with everything we know who we are and we don't know about like how to be proud of ourselves but we know who we are and we're extremely fine of it fine by it but when we start turning like 14 15 and i'm not only talking about like there is a certain age group for this this can happen to anybody but i'm just talking about like how commonly uh, in what age group this thing can be commonly found in. So it can be in the age group of 14 to 30 or maybe 25 because after that you've got like a sense of clarity. Okay, like this is how the world works. But before that, we're still dealing with our acceptance, like who we are. Now before that, the problem is we don't know a lot about ourselves to be proud of. But after that, when we start to, you know, just like go outside in the world and when we see like people are proud of themselves or people are proud of their thing people are proud of themselves for being this for being from who from being the place they're from or from basically being the way they are so people are proud of things and now all of a sudden you have this thing going on in the back of our mind i need something to be proud of as well then you find something you find some default in your identity like no this is wrong with me because this is not really accepted by society or you know you get like 50 out of 100 and and then you're like okay no i can't accept this and then all of a sudden you're like extremely sad you go into distress so that's just put your whole mood down correct so i think there's literally a very big need of self-acceptance because with self-acceptance guys with the lack of self-acceptance let me tell you what arises judgment yes you're gonna judge every person you're gonna judge person according to their identities from where they're from how many marks they're achieving or you know whatever their personality is however they're behaving with you you're gonna judge everyone because when you have lack of self-acceptance when you're dealing with that you're gonna find faults in other persons in other people to feel more accepted by yourself and let me tell you one thing to sort all of this thing out is that nobody's nobody's really paying attention to you believe me i'm not talking about like attention you know like you're gonna come up and say you know that person has like 300 million followers do you do you not think people are paying attention people are paying attention but people don't really care about their identity they only care about what they are showing to people so however you're gonna portray yourself to people that's how people are gonna see you so make sure you portray yourself extremely confident extremely positive or however you want to portray yourself but with lack of self-acceptance also arises lack of self-esteem and believe me we all don't want to go down that road so people just remember this is that no one's really paying attention to you you know everyone's so busy with their own problems everyone's so busy with their own lives enjoying their lives or dealing with their problems and the same is going on with you so stop doing this another point i have for you people is that stop comparing yourself to other people 
Stop comparing yourself, you know? Stop pitting yourself. You are not them and they are not you. Everybody's different. So stop distressing yourself over the fact, why am I not like that person? Why am I not? Because you are you and they're them. You can't be like anybody else. You've got your own personality. You've got your own thoughts. You've got your own ideas. And if you think you don't have any of those, then you lack self-esteem. Wow, that was powerful. Okay, so what you really need to know is, is that you are you and the other person is them. Why are you liking the other person? Let me just tell you. Why are you comparing yourself to someone else? Let me tell you why. Because you extremely, extremely like their personality. You like the way they think, you like the way they portray themselves, you like the way they show themselves to you. You like everything about them. So that's their personality, you know, that's their thoughts, that's their ideas. Now, you can definitely learn from this person, but to just think like, why am I not them? That's not it. You have your own personality. Make sure there's somebody else thinking like, okay, he's got a very nice personality, extremely amazing ideas. You're unique in your own way. So keep telling yourself, you're you, you're unique, he's he or she's her, they's them. You know, so please stop comparing yourself to other people because everybody's different. Next, now this is like a trick, you know, and this is something for procrastination because how much we procrastinate stuff. So what can we actually do? First of all, force yourself to do something, whatever your goals are. If your goal is studying, so force yourself to study for five minutes, all right? Just tell yourself, okay, I'm just gonna study for five minutes. Keep telling yourself that, then open your book, start studying for five minutes, and when five minutes are gone, then keep studying. Yeah, don't close your book after five minutes, but keep studying, that's what you have to do. So just tell your mind, okay, I'm only gonna study for five minutes, only gonna study for five minutes, and when five minutes are up, then keep studying. Do not stop there. Keep studying. Because in five minutes, you know enough about the topic you're studying about. So make sure you just keep studying and do not stop after five minutes are up. That's what you have to do. Now, what more you can do is, is whenever you feel like procrastinating or whenever you are actually squandering your time away, what I want you to know or what I want you to do is to start thinking about those people who are actually being productive for their goals. You know, start thinking about those people who are working extremely hard for the goals that are also yours, basically for similar goals. You know, whatever your goals are, that's the those are the goals of some other person. But you are not working, you are procrastinating that person is working so remind yourself how much the other person is working how much he is being productive then look at yourself and what are you doing self-criticism is also sometimes necessary and believe me it's going to help you now let's talk about mental health now mental health is all about self-esteem lack of self-confidence lack of clarity as we have talked about all of these things because with all of these things you know, it affects your mental health. It definitely affects your mental health in a very negative way. So make sure you keep your mental health in check. For that, what you can do is you can shut your phone or, you know, you just play music on your music app and you play music on a speaker anywhere you'd like and then just, you know, just close your eyes and just immerse yourself in that music, whatever your favorite song is. Immerse yourself or go for a walk without your phone of course go for a walk now don't go for a walk in like any anywhere you want to but go for a walk in nature where you find peace and if you find peace in a like crowded place so go over there wherever you find peace wherever you find like yes this is lively wherever you find yourself extremely lively go over there and take a break you know do it one day at a time just take a break make sure you take a break for like uh two to three days go somewhere you know spend time over there and then when you come back you're gonna realize like wow that was amazing and then you realize yeah i've taken a break now i can get back to work so this is how you are gonna start doing stuff now and this is how i'm also gonna start doing stuff now and also one more thing start tidying up you know clean your place it's gonna it it's gonna help you to feel more productive. You know, you're gonna feel like, wow, everything's so great. So I should be also studying, you know? In this extremely 
nice room and this extremely tidied up room i'm not gonna be wasting away my time believe me it's a trick but it's gonna help you so wherever you are sitting right now start tidying up that place it's gonna help you a lot and this is it for this video also with room i remember that yesterday my father said is that you show your subscribers your curtains your almira your mirror sometimes your bed so uh, I know this setting is not really good, so if you people have any problem with the setting where I sit, because I really find it extremely comfortable, and I actually never thought about it until my father said it, so make sure you people comment as that if you people are fine with this. But other than that, I'm also going to be start uh, starting tidying up a place for a better YouTube video background. And this is it. Thank you so much everybody for watching. I hope you people are taking care of yourselves. I'm gonna see you people in the next video. I'm John V and yeah, stay safe. Bye everyone.